Hey, I'm Patrick Laws at Tutco Farnham Custom Products, and today we're going to do a brief overview of the installation and wiring of the 7550 series temperature control panel. When you unpack your control panel, the very first thing uh, that you should come across is the uh, installation and control manual. Uh, this uh, should contain all of the information that you need to install, uh, wire, and operate the unit, um, which we should go over most of that right now. For this demonstration, we've already mounted the unit, and I've already have power wires and uh, heater supply wires plumbed into the unit. We added holes into the unit, as well as strain reliefs to those holes to hold the wires in place. Here we have the heater wiring, this will come from the control panel to the heater. This is the supply wiring. This will come to the control panel from our disconnect panel. These are the wirings for the process and high limit thermocouples. We're going to begin by wiring in the supply power ground wire along with the ground wire that will be going to the heater. This will ensure the heater is always properly grounded to an earth ground. Now we will continue to wire the additional legs of our three-phase circuit. Now our supply wiring has been installed in the ground, L1, L2, and L3 locations. We will now wire the heater in H1, H2, and H3. Now we have the supply wiring as well as the wiring coming from the control panel to the heater wired. Now we're going to install our interlock jumpers. Since our install will not include a snap switch or a flow sensor, we will place jumpers in these to prevent the controller from signaling an error with an interlock. Now we have our thermocouple wiring. We have two thermocouples, one to act as a process temperature control, the other to act as a high limit protection. We will first install the high limit thermocouple protection, which is factory set with a high limit adjustment of 1200 degrees F. Now install the process thermocouple both of which offer a third terminal for a shielding wire. Not all thermocouples have shielding wires, but this prevents any interference in the thermocouple readings. Now the controller is completely wired and ready to be wired to a heater. So this is how you wire the 7550 series temperature process controller. Thanks for watching.